Oh man, Mark, can y'all hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Let's do it. Oh man, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. Man. Welcome to the comedy night. Hey, y'all give it up for Rachel one time. A real life Harley Quinn. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know they had a real life Harley Quinn and stuff like that. I uh, nah, appreciate it and everything. Good job and everything. But yeah, you know, I was a former boxer and everything. Figure I'd start doing comedy. Man, I got, while well, I was boxing, professional boxing, got tired of getting hit in the face and everything. So I figured I'd start doing comedy because I had, you know, pretty good punch lines. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me ask y'all this, man. Me, for the fellas out here, how many of y'all got baby mamas out here? Anybody got uh -oh. baby mamas out here? Put your hand up. <laughs> so you know about the baby mamas and everything. Yeah. Baby mamas make you have the blues. <laughs> Let me tell you, man. I got my, I got my, my, my daughter came down to visit me for the summer and everything. And she asked, she asked, hey, Daddy, how our babies are born and stuff like that. And I said, hey, baby girl, well, you know, we came from Adam and Eve and stuff like that. You know, Adam gave his left rib for white folks and uh, he gave his other rib put on the barbecue grill and that's how black people came. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and then, you know, she was like, okay, Daddy, you know what I'm saying? And then she went back to her mama and then she asked her mama the same question. You know, hey, mama, how are babies are born and stuff like that? And then the mama told her, you know, we evolved from apes and stuff. We see the planet of the apes. We evolved from the apes and we was monkeys at first and we became humans and stuff. So my baby girl called me. I called, I said, you know, cussing me out, fussing at me, seven years old. You know what I'm saying? You know, Coco Melon cussing me out, stuff like that. And she said, uh, Daddy, you lied to me. You lied to me. You know, I said, what I lied about, baby girl? She said, she said, you you said we came from Adam and Eve and stuff when we was on barbecue grill. And mama said we came from monkey. And I said, oh, oh, my baby, baby girl, you're totally confused. Your mama was talking about her side of the family. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, you know, I, I really hate me and her mama ain't work out, man. You know what I'm saying? My ex-wife was crazy and everything. I mean, she was just so narcissistic and everything. Just so, just so just screwed up in the head. You know what I'm saying? Everything I did was cheating. You know what I'm saying? I could be in the bed with a cheat. Let me tell you. You know what I'm saying? I used to kill late at nights. I kept getting these text messages. Keep, keep getting these text messages. From talking about, hey, you know, meeting in the car. So she got my phone and she's talking about, who is this girl that texting you? I'm saying, what, what are you talking about, baby? What girl is texting you? She said, she's sending you information about what car she's going to be in and she got kids and stuff like that. I'm like, baby, I don't know no girl. You know a girl named Amber. What's her name? How do you know her? And I'm like, I don't know no girl named Amber. And got cut through about 10 minutes later, Amber start texting her and stuff. Oh, you must know this bitch because her last name is Alert. I got the blues and everything. See, the thing about the blues for me, man, I have it Monday through Friday and depending on how I sober I am on Saturdays and Sundays and everything. I appreciate y'all the common blues. You know, I just got the Army. Tw did 20 years in one month. United States Army at the duty. You know, Woo! fight for a country that don't give a damn about me and everything. You know what I'm saying? I got my hundred percent. I got my hundred percent though. You know what I'm saying? I got diagnosed with PTSD. You know what I'm saying? And this PTSD that came, it was a different PTSD from having numerous and always having goddamn sex harassment class while in the army. You know what I'm saying? This made me so intimidated, but even having sex with my wife and everything. I was asked in agreement. She tried to be so mad. Like, all right, baby, are you cool with this and stuff? You know what I'm saying? But I got my 100%. You know the PTSD, I'm talking about the, uh, you know what I'm saying, post-traumatic sex disorder and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I got my 100%. Glad to have it. But you know, the world's getting crazy now. You know what I'm saying? It's getting so subjective now. You know what I'm saying? Do you make you think to yourself, you know, do chicken breasts have nipples? You know what I'm saying? I'm from the South. I love it. After eating a lot of catfish, you think to yourself, you know, do catfish have kittens when they when they have babies and stuff? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Make you think that Kanye West has an actual point. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But the day and age now, you know, it's different nowadays. Have y'all seen the teachers having sex with the students at school? 
Mm. Have you ever been seeing the case like that? Yeah. Man. Yeah. I wish I had that when I was in high school, man. Listen, I would have been, <laughs> I would be giving them, I would be getting straight A's, giving them but straight D. You know what I'm saying? Man? <laughs> <laughs> Thank y'all for that, man. I appreciate y'all. My name is Nate Hicks, aka Two Piece in the Biscuit, man. You can find me on IG, put your order in, Two Piece in the Biscuit. Love y'all. Uh, <laughs>